Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Red Hat Pacemaker Cluster Fencing. This is my second video in Red Hat Pacemaker Cluster and the first video which I have already uploaded in my channel that is about the installation of Red Hat Pacemaker Cluster and the initial configuration. If you have not watched that video, please go through the link I have provided in the description so that you will have idea about how we need to install the initial uh, pacemaker cluster and configuration okay so in this video i'm going to basically going to install and discuss about fencing okay so i'm using a vmware environment here you can able to see my vsphere client okay and the ip for this vsphere client is this one and i'm using currently this two node rscl01 rsc l02 okay so the fencing which i'm going to pro, uh, configure today that is will be vmware based fencing so why it is vmware based fencing because in real time scenario if you worked in any uh, any companies any it companies there it is very much popular so except uh, uh, the other unix based virtualization vmware is very much popular in uh, it and all the companies uh, basically they use vmware so that is why it is very much important so that uh, whenever there is a request to configure clustering or to set up a cluster you would have the idea how to configure the fencing in vmware environment okay so let me just bring my partition here this is my first node which is rscl01 and here i have one text file which is about the fencing okay so this text file if you go through the prerequisite it has given here so i have just given some prerequisite okay so first thing is in order to configure your vmware sop based fencing shop based fencing you need a user and that user should have some roles and responsibility and that user also should have the rights to power off and power on your vm the cluster which you are going to use for example two node of cluster if you are using then probably you need to have those two nodes uh, that user which you are going to create that user should have the rights to power on and power off and except that you should have some roles so i have given the steps here this is the seventh step which you have to follow okay basically if you just follow these seven steps you would be able to uh, you would be able to con uh, configure or uh, give uh, give a uh, permission for that user which you are going to create because in real time scenario you are not going to create you are not going to use uh, the root user for my this demo i'm just going to use the root user and root password but in real time scenario you won't be able to have the root credential right so that is why this is the uh, procedure you have to follow and that can be any username so you name it like fence fence fencing or fence user or something like that and those that user should have these roles and uh, that user should create it as per the settings which i have given okay so once you have created your user you need to go to your system and you have to check the options here so let me go to not to here and in this not to if i run this command vmware shop VMware uh, shop based fencing and minus H for help and you would be able to see many options here which is given minus A to provide your IP address or the host name for your fencing device and L for your username, P for password, S G for SSL connection and the other options ok. So let me show you what are the uh, available stony device you can use. So if you just wanted to see as per your environment you can go ahead and configure it to see that you just need to run this command pcs tonit list and you'd be able to see the list of fencing device which is available so currently i'm going to use this firmware fencing device and in real time scenario if you are using a physical system and that system is hp base then you would be probably going to use fencing for ilo and if you are using uh, Cisco UCS then you will be going to use this one and if you are using uh, IBM based hardware IBM blade 
So, you are you will be probably going to use this uh, fencing and if you are using a virtual environment like I am using currently. So, you probably need to follow and configure this fencing ok. So, those are the options and how to use I already showed you. So, you just need to run and check the options what are the available options here. So, let me go to my node 1 here and here you can see the first command here I have provided and let me run this command and show it to you what it will do. So, let me go to this node and run this command. So, this command will do nothing but to go with the SSL connection and user root and password and it is login to my VSphere server. This is VSphere server IP and listing the list of VM which is currently running on that ESXi system. So, here you would be able to see there are the list of system. This is the node 2 other uh, Sleha 01 and 02 are running on that system and my node which I am currently using this one is RSCL1 and RSCL2. And along with that you will also able to see there is an UUID which is also uh, it has given in this output. So, you just wanted to double check whether uh, this UUID is valid or it is matching with the current one and you can see this is the one and this is matching right. So, same thing. So, this is how we have to check. And if you are able to log in with your user which you have created and list the node from this command then you are good with that user right. So, this is this is how you have to check the connectivity or, or connection with your ESXi system. So, once you are done with that the next thing is you have to go and you have to create a fencing device. So, what a fencing device I am going to create and the options I have given here let me paste this command here and I'll let me tell you. The first thing is PCS is the command through which you will create it and stone it is a mechanism or a word which is used by pacemaker ok. So, it is used by pacemaker pacemaker and it is stand for shoot the nod in the head. So, it is nothing but it is nothing but like for example, we play game, we play war game and in war game if you are shooting the enemy and when you shoot an any enemy for example, in body it will not going to die soon right. You have to kill, you have to shoot, uh, shoot many times that uh, many times to kill that enemy. So, instead if you shoot in the head it will that enemy will die instantly. So, that is what it is meaning and it has using this word stone it here. So, what it will do? It will just disconnect the system from the network and as per your action, what are the action you have set for your stone it device whether it is reboot or shut down, it will do as per your action. So, this is what stone it is and I am going to create it that is why I have said create and fence VM fence is my name VM fence one fence, fence one is my fencing name and this is the resource agent type which I am using. I will explain probably what are resource agent in uh, coming videos. For now, we just need to understand this is called a resource agent and this is my virtual name for my stony device first node and this is my node name and the IP which I am using for vSphere. This is my vSphere IP and secure connection and using the same root credential and action is reboot. So, when it will see the system is not responding, it is in a hung state, what fencing will do? It will just simply reboot the system and delay in between is a 10 second. So, without delaying further, let me just create this first fencing device. So, I am creating a fencing device for first node now. This is my first node and the fencing device name is fence1. So, let me create that and let me try to check whether it is created or not. Let me just run this command cnm underscore mon r. So, if I run this command, this is directly going to my CIB database and fetching that information from CIB database and it is giving a live output. So, I will be able to see the first fencing device RSCL01 VM fence 1 is created and it has started on 01. 
perfect so let me just check the double double check here and let me check, check some other settings which seems to be good and those are good okay so uh, i have created the first device and now let me go to the steps here and let me just copy and create the same thing but now this is vm fence 2 and for the node 0 2 and the other credential and rights are same thing and let me again check the same thing whether it is starting or not now you can see it is in stop state and hopefully it will going to start in node 2 momentarily so it is basically checking background and you you are able to see that fencing fence uh, device node 2 is created on node 2 great so my fencing device is created now so both are working but once you created those fencing device you have some additional settings need to ensure otherwise your fencing device will not function properly so what are the other settings the other settings is your uh, let me uh, okay the other setting is constraint so i am not very much sure whether you have worked on uh, suse pacemaker suse ache cluster so if you have worked on that you would probably have the idea about constraint but if you do not have don't worry i have suse ache cluster video in my channel i will provide those link in description please go through that you would have idea about constraint for now let me just tell you a, a basic about constraint is constraint is nothing but a preferred location we would going to tell that whether this resource which i have created fence the uh, vmware fence one is the preferred location by default when i start the cluster ser cluster service and this resource where it will going to start whether it will going to start in node one or node two so that preferred location i'm going to provide and the same thing for fence two as well so for example when node one is rebooted or hung state what cluster will try to do cluster will try to fail over this fence one resource group to node 2 but in node 2 there is already a fence device running right in that situation cluster will be in a panic mode and it will have no idea why these two fencing device are trying to start in a same node and it will go crazy and your cluster will be like uh, inconsistent state and it will keep on rebooting so that to avoid that we need to specify that this fence device is only need to run on node 2 and this fence device is only need to run on node 1 whether this system is available or this is a system is not available okay so if the this system is not started this fence device should not move to this node so that is what we have to we have to uh, set okay to set that constraint we have command called pcs constraint location okay and let me just come to here and copy this command so i'm here i'm just specifying here the pcs constraint location vmware fence one this is the one is preferable to start in node 2 so let me do that and also let me do it for the other constraint fence 2 is preferred to start in node 1 okay so let me just check now what is happening in background and in background you would able to see the fence device is now started in node 2 and something is happening let's see everything should be fine and i think it is fine so and fence 2 is started on node 1 so we are all good okay so let me just double check yeah so we are good with the constraint setting here so i will anyway going to discuss about constraint you probably have no idea what about what is constraint what is order what is uh, clone and what is infinity and what is minus infinity 
infinity right and one more thing is location and collocation so anyway i'm going to discuss about all the stuffs later in my video so for now you just have to understand this is how you have to set your fencing device otherwise you will go crazy and your system will keep on rebooting you would not you would not have any idea why this is happening okay so fine so now the next step is to test whether my fencing device which i have created whether it is functional or not without the functionality of your fence device there is no use of using the fence device by the by the way i'm also going to tell you without a fencing device without a configuration of fencing in your system in your cluster setup it is not of using of cluster so you need to ensure you have configured fencing in your cluster setup right why because it is basically fencing is nothing but a disconnector to avoid your data inconsistency example you are running two nodes here like mine uh, the rsl01 and 02 and in this two node i'm going to use a shared lan in cluster environment we use a shared lan right so in shared lan what we're going to use those lan is going to share on both the nodes and in and when a scenario where node 1 is hung state and the same lan is also accessing by node 2 in that case there might be an inconsistency of data which you are currently using to avoid that what fencing will do it will disconnect your node which is not responsive and that node will going to reboot it as per your uh, fencing action right so that is the main purpose of using your uh, fencing device and to avoid your split brain situ situation okay so those were about a uh, basic about fencing so now time to test whether my fencing device is working or not so let me do one thing so let me first bring my node 2 partition here and let me scroll it down here so that it is visible for you and let me clear clear my screen and this is my node 1 and let me open a session vmware session here and to see whether it can fence the system or not so this is my system and this is my node 1 console so let me just check whether this is running or not uh, yeah so here you can see my system is up this is my rcl01 okay so now to test that what i'm going to do i'm just simply going to run a command called crm stun it not fence uh, not resource then fence and the node name so node name is crscl01 so this is my node one which i'm going to fence and let's see what it will going to happen so i would be able to see some messages here also in vmware that my system is rebooting if this is working and also i would be able to see this system is reboot uh, rebooted right so this is what this command parameter has been passed so here i think it is working i can see some command here and you can see it is completed the system is fenced and here you can see my system is coming up excellent so here now what i am going to check so if i just run crm mon minus r and try to check the status and you would be able to see here the live output which is directly coming from your CIV database and you are seeing the node 1 is offline because it is in the process of rebooting and the both the fencing device is in stop state and it is trying to aid the node 1 is trying to aid in the cluster and it is in pending status fence 1 is fail status nasty nasty thing nasty thing is happening here so let's see how it will behave so it is again trying to aid my system in the cluster the node one and node two is in online state okay 
so I need to wait because I have no choice to wait until and unless the system is properly come up and it checks all the configuration okay so here it is still trying to reboot and meanwhile I need to check something because if sometimes this is enabled this cause issue okay here is the problematic thing I need to PCS uh, property unset watchdog is not required and cause a lot of issues sometimes so let me see this time it should work and there are again the system is trying to aid it's saying unclean and offline state and it is trying to edit it is trying to aid my RHL one in the cluster and it should start the plus uh, fence device so it is in fail state and giving some fail action here so what I can do I can clean up those failed action PCS resource clean up and this is keep on devoting so let me clean up both the fail count it looks good now and now let me see the property and this is again cam okay, I'm not sure how let me unset it again and now I just need to check whether everything is fine okay so now I can see the fence device 1 is started on 0 2 which is supposed to be run on 0 2 and it's, it is good and fence 2 supposed to be running on 0 1 and it should start on 0 2 and I can see my both the node in currently online status and okay so it is still working something in uh, CIV and trying to start my other fence device in node 1 so I have to wait and see what happens so it has started but it has given a failed action that is not a problem I just can clean that up PCS resource clean up and this is my fence 2 which has a failed action let me clean that up and let's see now okay so let's wait for probably 10 to 10 seconds hardly again it failed okay so let me see the property one more time I am not sure why why this watchdog is coming again and again so this has to unset and this should not be there but I have to check this option one more time why this is coming and now looks like my other fence device is also stopped so let me clean that up and let's see whether this helps okay so now both are in stop state and the property now the watchdog is not showing so let me go to node 1 here and take a duplicate session because this session is expired because the server reboot and let me take a duplicate session and login again okay so precious property and property looks good and let me do a crm underscore one minus r uh, there is a failed action pcs resource cleanup fence 2 
and I hope this should be fine this time and let's see and this time it's it is fine now I can see my fence device 2 fence device 1 is started in node 2 as per the preferred location and fence device 2 is started on 0 1 as per the preferred location which I have set so that is it guys so this is how you have to set your or configure your fencing device so the constraint which I have said let me check the constraint this is constraint list and those are the preferred location which I have set this should be run on node 2 and this should run on node 1 and you can see the score is infinity so which means this node is a preferable node and that should run on this node anyway I'm going to discuss those later in my coming videos so that's it guys for this videos thank you so much for watching and please subscribe my channel for more videos on this uh, red hat pacemaker cluster have a good day